hello fellow developers welcome to this tutorial where we are going to unlock the potential of multilingual support in angular applications if you are aiming to reach a global audience this is the right place to be we will go through the process of changing languages in angular with hands-on example and real world use cases so let's get so let's get your app speaking multiple languages make sure you have latest angular cli installed for this tutorial we are using angular 16 but these concepts will be applicable to other versions as well so open up your terminal and let's start by creating new angular project with the command ng new that would create a new project for you and then open that project in your favorite editor i already have my project created and running in my vs code so i would be using that one perfect now let's dive into the coding part to manage languages we will use ngx dash translate slash core and ngx dash translate slash http loader packages these will help us to load translation files and switch languages seamlessly so for that uh, let's install the dependencies npm install ngx dash translate slash core and ngx dash translate slash http loader and press enter now let's set up the ngx translate in our application head over to your app.module.ts file and import the translate module and translate loader we will also need to configure the translate module to load our translation file so here's how you do it first of all on the top uh, let's import from ngx okay and let me add the translate loader and translate module all right next we need to import from the http loader and this time we are going to import translate http loader all right now in the imports array i would add translation translate module dot for root and in that i will pass an object and in that object we will pass a property called loader and in that loader we will provide our on loader that we just imported and then i will provide the use factory by the way we have to create a function and we have to export it as well type export function http loader factory and http http client and return the translate http loader and pass it the http that you are getting here make sure to import this okay now in the use factory property provide that http loader factory that we just created and after that let's add our dependencies okay let's create json files for each language we want to support so go to the assets folder and create a new folder called i18n okay now create a file with the name en.json and in that file actually let's create the other language as well es.json for spanish now let's add the object in the en english.json so for that i will add hello is equal to hello world so similarly in your es.json file we will uh, add the translation so let's say paste it here now let's get the translation for the hello okay this is in spanish all right we will now add a language switcher to our application so open up your app.component.ts file let me remove this old logic and let's uh, add methods to switch the language so first of all we need to inject a service with the name translate service in the constructor and then let's add our function switch language and here let's receive the language string and here i will use this start translate.use and give it the language that you would like to use so then now we will update our app.component.html to include the buttons for the language switching in the real world application we normally have a drop down where we will display the, all of the available languages and if somebody selects one of those language it will switch to the specified or selected language so for now i will just add a button switch to spanish and here i will add h1 tag just add curly braces like this and here add hello and after that add a pipe translate okay so switch language and give it sp uh, es actually okay now let's try okay you can see when i clicked on the switch to spanish it switched the language and you can add another button that will help you to switch back to the english okay
so this was just a very a very very simple example but in, a, in the real world application it might be more complex in real world use cases uh, imagine you are building an e-commerce website that serves an international audience it's crucial to present the product information prices services uh, in the user's native language so with the setup we have we can easily bind the translation keys to your product components and switch the languages on the fly you may keep a language switcher in the global area like in the header header would be shared so uh, on any page it does not matter wherever user are uh, on they can be on any page they just select the desired language from the header and it will update the language on all of the components that are active on your page all right congratulations you have just implemented a multilingual feature in your angular app this feature not only makes your app user friendly for a global audience but also opens door to international markets thank you for following along stay tuned for more practical and informative tutorials happy coding